One thing these young brothers not doing is giving up no dollar. They not doing it. They not doing it. That's why. That's why they living how they living. They don't care about us. They don't care about us women. That's the old the old heads. They giving up. They giving it up, yo. The old heads is giving it up. Especially the ones that's not settled down. Oh, they giving it up. They giving it up. Easy. These young brothers, they not giving you nothing. You not getting nothing out of them. They going to be in a nice car. They going to have the Balenciagas on, the Gucci's, the Louis. They going to have all that. And the girl going to have nothing but fashion over on. No car. No house. Still pay our own phone bill. You did on somebody 35 and under, you, are, you need to be independent. I'm just saying. 35 and up, you, you might be safe. You might get lucky. You might find you somebody that, that cover all your expenses. But 35 and under, that's your own tab. <laughs> The older guys are still tricking because they're enamored by younger women. They revere younger women. Whereas guys your age or guys around your age just view you as another attractive woman. You may be attractive, they may like you, but they're not they don't revere you. So they're less likely to trick. You gotta probably do something to get that money. It's going to be transactional. Not to mention the days of simping. Okay, those are dead. So this TikToker from the UK is going viral. Before today, I'd never heard of her, never seen any of her videos. But she's going viral because she's being exposed for hanging out with a 14-year-old. Now, she is 30. Her name's Victoria, I believe. The 14 year old's coming over, she's putting on makeup and lipstick, they're going out for chippy dates. If you don't know what a chippy date is, it's when you go out to get chicken and chips, okay? They're going on little dates. It's a bit weird, okay? And the women from the UK are rightfully calling her out because the behavior just doesn't make sense. I hope he's not watching. Why are you so close to him? It's 14. Because he's a good lad and it's funny, do you know what I mean? He only comes and chills, there's no bother. Some kids are a lot older in the mind. Some kids are a lot older in the mind. I'm 30. I love the mindset of a 14. <laughs> Physically, do you know what I mean? No. Nope. Some kids are a lot older in the mind. What the f does that mean? I actually want to know where this Don's parents are. Like, what is their thought process when they're allowing this to happen? Do they even know this is happening? I just, I don't understand it. This app brings... So in the UK, right, someone who with kids is called a nonce. A nonce, N O N C, a nonce, and the idea that some kids are more, that is that is how nonces mentally justify what they're doing. <laughs> okay, oh yeah, yeah, she's thirteen, but she's much older. Oh, oh he's fourteen, he is, but mentally, it's very disturbing. There's like so many wrong uns, and they always try and justify their weirdness. I'll never understand it. What business does a 30-year-old woman have with a 14-year-old? If you're not related to the boy, what are you doing alone with him going on lunch dates? Because that's literally what it is. You're letting him come round and chill. What the f uh To me, a 14-year-old is a child. An underage child, yeah, that should still be looked after by their parents. They shouldn't be going off, having la -de da fun with adults that they're not related to it is crazy if my daughter in years to come ever came to me and said oh i'm going to the fish and chip shop with dave the 40 year old man that lives two doors down i am booting off dave's door and slapping him up what are you doing with my child why do you need to be around my child you can literally look at kids about oh they're sweet da 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 Oh, they're, 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 that, that, that's a nice kid there. You don't need to invite them to your yard and chill with them. It's just weird. And for his parents, like, I'm not even trying to get onto her about losing her kids or whatnot, but they should understand, like, well, she don't have kids in her care. Like, keep your child at arm's length. 
Say hello to her. She's your neighbour. But why are you allowing your son to chill with her? She's got bigger fish to fry. What the... One thing you lot will try and do on this app is normalise some BS. Are you lot really trying to normalise this 30-year-old woman hanging out with this 14-year-old boy? Putting on red lipstick and a little black dress to go on a little chippy date with him. You lot are trying to... Some people are really trying to normalise it. And I've seen people come on this app and speak nicely. And there's people in the comments trying to gaslight them and tell them, oh, you're taking it too deep. Or trying to make them think that what they're saying is wrong. They're calling the woman out because she's hanging out with this little 14-year-old boy, making him call her mummy. She's basically grooming him. She's just lost her own children. She's not fully there. No disrespect. Yeah. And you lot are going, well, I used to hang out with my neighbour. OK, well, your mum was just as careless. Your parents was just as careless. A lot of people was, is maintained and not raised. A lot of children are, are maintained and not raised. And a lot of parents don't care. Yeah, but it is, it is not normal. And you lot are not going to normalise a woman putting on red, like I said, red lipstick, a little black dress, dancing in front of the boy, making, a, making the little boy call her, her mummy. All these things. Oh, he thinks he's, he's a bit mentally, um, what is it? He's more mentally mature. It sounds like a groomer. Yeah, how many times have we heard the stories where they, the neighbour, the childminder, the babysitter waits till they're 16 or 18 to move in on them now that they're legal? How many times do we hear that? <laughs> oh, but it's fine because TikTok wants to normalise it. No, a lot of things are normalised or tries to get dismissed when it comes to essay and things like that because, oh, she's a woman and it's happening to a boy. Do you know, men my age turn around and tell me certain stories and they try and laugh it off and brush it off because everyone and their nan that they've told have made it seem like they haven't been essayed and they're laughing it off and I go, bro, you know you got essayed. And that's when it clicked. That's when it clicked. It happened to them when they're 13, 14 by big women. It's disgusting. It's disgusting because if the roles was reversed and a little girl was sitting there calling a 30-year-old man daddy, going out on a date and he's dressing up for, um, for her, saying, oh, she's more mentally mature, all of that, the police, social, every, all hell would have broke loose. All hell would have broke loose. He's, he's lost his own kids. Every, but it's OK. It's going to be normalised. It's fine. Do you know why? Because she's a woman. Because TikTok said so. Stop gaslighting these people. These people have said it nicely. And maybe it's me, the passionate and abrupt one, to come and tell you it's wrong. She's grooming him. It's nasty. And none of you lot are going to make me think any different. Sorry. She's absolutely right. And we spoke about this on the channel. So many men have been victims of essay without knowing. Because how the majority of us are wired in that moment, we wanted that experience. So we don't think it's essay, but it is because you're underage and you're unable to consent to what's happening. So you wanting it is irrelevant. And of course, you're going to see people try to normalize this behavior because women have been infantilized. We know for a fact, roles were reversed, like this lady said, there'd be nothing to speak about. This is definitely grooming. Somebody needs to be called. Okay, she might have to have an order placed on her that she just can't be around kids. Because from your putting on makeup, black dress, your dancing for Imagine going on a imagine going out with a 14-year-old. What the that's not your child, not your nephew, not your niece, just a 14-year-old. You're just going out with them. That's you that's that's mental illness. Honestly, you you must have mental health problems. I just left the gas station and I saw this woman pumping gas while this man was just hanging out in the car. I saw that too. And it just made me realize I think that's what's wrong with, with dating right now. Like these women are going for anything. And it makes things hard for the rest of us because ain't no way I'm at a gas station with a man and I'm pumping the gas. Mind you, he was in the driver's seat. So she got out of the passenger seat and pumped gas in 2024. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm. She said in 2024? What are the, what better year? Like when? When have we ever 
viewed each other as equals other than the time that we're in now. Maybe he filled up the gas last time. Maybe it's her turn. Are we equal or not? Like, what's going on? Because the way she's saying in 2024, you think it's 1824. So, we are finally buying our dream house in America. But there is a problem. My wife wants me to put her name on the house as the beneficiary. But I said, no, I'm buying the house in our daughter's name. Now she's giving me attitude. If I'm not putting her name on the house, that she's not going to move in with us. You get to the point now. I'm not selfish. If I'm selfish, I would buy the house for myself. But I'm buying the house to gift our daughter. Is that selfishness? You get to the point now. Is that selfishness? Anyways, the house is on hold now because I can't buy a house and my wife is not going to move in with me, with us. We've been through thick and thin together. And now that God has started blessing us, it is time for her to enjoy the fruit of her labor. But she needs to understand that I'm doing this thing for both of us. I'm doing this thing for our daughter. But she doesn't get it. To her, she said her name must be on the house. Like, why? What is she trying to achieve? What is her plan? You get to the point in her. What is her plan? What do you guys think about this? Because I feel like a lot of you are going to take this guy's side, but I just think this is a bit dumb. Like, you're already married. So, if anything, she's probably going to get, you know, unless she's on a prenup, She's probably going to get half of your stuff anyway. So you can't really be thinking about that for the reason not to put her on a house, right? You want to give it to your daughter? Okay. But if you put your wife as a beneficiary, if something happens to your wife, surely it's going to your daughter, no? And then what you could do, or what you should do, is just get a joint will. You get a joint will. If anything happens or when we eventually die this house is to go to our daughter but yeah in my opinion this isn't even something to be stressing about bro you're putting yourself through unnecessary stress because when you sign that document you've already committed half of your resources to her so you, you might as well just do it i'm just so fucking lonely i don't think i ever expected being in a situation where i am actively trying to make connections and not being able to do so that is strange and that feels like a product of age it feels like there are so many people who have friends that they carried in from other phases of life or who they found circumstantially in a very specific phase of life um, i'm not finding other people who are 40 who are looking for fresh brand new from scratch deep connections new friends from square one and it has been absolutely brutal. I'm 40 years old, I'm gonna be 41 in October, and I have never felt this lonely in my life. And I certainly never expected that at 40 is when I would feel this level of loneliness. Some of that, of course, is just moving to a new city and being literally in a place where I, I don't have friends. That is certainly an actual piece. But it has been one of the most demoralizing, discouraging, just depressing seasons of my life. It has been really, really hard. So if you have tips on how to make friends at 40 years old, especially in a new city, please let me know. I've done the apps. I've been on Bumble BFF, I've been on forums, I've joined several really big Discord servers of local girls, I've tried to go to meetups, I've gone out to happy hours, I've joined a couple clubs, like I am literally doing all the things that I can think to do. But here I am. Feeling so sure that there's like a person nearby who could be my DC person, but I just can't find her. I know this isn't what she's talking about in the video. She just wants companionship, okay? But I must say, one of the best ways to make new friends is through your partner. Your partner is going to have friends who maybe have wives. 
they have girlfriends. You become friends with them, they have friends. They go out with their friends, you're now invited. Now your circle's getting bigger. Look, again, I know she was just talking about companionship, but one of the best ways to meet new people is through your partner, if that's what you need. And look, you're right. The older we get, you know, I've known my best friend since I was nine years old, nine, ten years old. My other friends I met when I was 16. We're bringing in friends from different parts of our life. We don't necessarily want or need new friends. But I guarantee if you had a boyfriend, if you had a partner, firstly, you wouldn't be lonely because you'd have that partner. But then they can introduce you to a whole set of new potential friends. But that's just my opinion. What has been the best decision of your life? Getting married on time. Having my kids, like my first daughter should be 15 this year. So, and how old am I? How old are you? <laughs> you can ask that again, I'm 35. Oh wow, so you got married at 20. Exactly. I thought people say early marriage is bad because it limits you as a woman. Not at all. If you see your life partner, just pray to God and get your life partner. You get to wherever you want to attain. So didn't you miss out on the fun you were supposed to have as a young lady? My fun, like I still have my fun and going up with my kids, we still have the fun together. I mean, he didn't limit me at all. I still club, I still do everything that I want. I still travel. I know, I know they have bad marriages when you get married on time. Maybe the man don't want you to like do your, live your life, but not here. I'm so lucky. Okay, so the 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 thing is marrying the right person, yes. not marrying on time. Exactly. Okay. Even if you marry late, if you do, if you marry a wrong person, you still have issues. Happy. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Let me say this: the only thing you can't do while in a relationship that you can do while you're single is be for the streets. If you are a woman and you like to club and you like to travel, why would that stop when you get a boyfriend or you get married? That's how he met you, right? He met you as someone who liked to travel, who liked to club. Why would that stop? Surely you would end up with someone who likes to do that or is okay with you doing that. This whole myth that marrying young stops women from having fun. What fun? What fun? Being in the streets? That's not fun because when you guys hit 30, then all of a sudden you're regretful and all this, it's not fun. As long as you meet someone who has the same values as you, you should be able to do everything you enjoy doing while you're in that relationship. Nothing should change. This liquor got me in my zone. zone. Now I'm blowing up your phone. We smoke in the ozone I just can't let this go This liquor got me in my zone Now I'm blowing up your phone Blowing we smoke in the ozone I just can't let this go Girl, if I'm doing too much, just let me know For some reason I just 